muted. Hello everyone, Hailstorm XV here, and I'm here for episode two of my Attack of the B Team mod pack. Um, last episode we finished off by creating a powered furnace and a pulverizer. And I told you guys that I would do some mining and straightening up of the room, which I did. And let's have a look. So this is what our little workshop looks like right now. Um, as you can see, I put the hopper with the chest on top so the ores can auto-feed in because the hopper pulls them out of the chest. They go into the pulverizer, they're pulverized, they go into the pulverizer and are turned into dust which pumps into the redstone furnace that then goes into the ores chest. And this wood is an example of what chisel can do. Um, this episode, I'm actually, I was kind of on the fence about what to do this episode, but I decided that one of the main mods that I forgot about in this pack is the Tinker's Construct. And that's what I'm going to work with today. However, while doing some exploring, I came across some pretty interesting things that I wanted to share, um, which I actually marked on my map. found a nice little vill I wouldn't even call it a village. I'd call it more of like a port city type thing. It's much larger than a normal village would normally be. And I will show you what it looks like. Yes, I am in bat mode. I really, I don't know if this is part of world gen or if something did this, but this is a pretty amazing village with the exception of, well, that over there. But this can easily, easily be given some roads and turned into a port city of some type. Um, you know, we do have that ships mod in here, which, you know, I could definitely turn this into something. It's not too far from my base. Um, little the villagers, the villagers are discussing matters of high importance. Um, also, I wanted to give you an example of what Orgen looks like in these Tekkit packs, so I found another area, which I did actually mine out a little bit, that just shows how ore generation can be pretty crazy in this. Um, let's see here. It is... It's actually in a ravine. And... Oh, by the way, while you're flying like this, I think your food goes down faster. I think. So that kind of semi-balances it a little bit. Um, so yeah, this is... Was this the ravine? Yeah, this was the ravine. This is what Orgen can look like. And this is just a ravine. That noise you hear in the background, hopefully it's not too loud. That's actually a uh, waterfall caused by that. Um, but yeah, so this is what I mean when Orgen is ridiculous. Um, so as you can tell, I had a pretty good starting area. And as you see, I can I mined out quite a bit of the stuff here. Um, diamonds are just all over right there. It's just diamonds. But I don't need that right now. I have it marked on my map. Right now we're going to work with Tinker's Construct. So, to get started... Where's my house? There it is. To get started, um, we need to go over the basics. Um, you know, I'm going to probably do some very simple things like creating a very basic pickaxe. Um, you know, things like that. Nothing too fancy. I'm not going to go... If if I have the, ch the time, maybe I'll go build a, a smelter. Um, I don't know. We'll see. Um, but definitely going to get the basic, you know, things started. So let's turn back into human form. Let's eat some bread. And let's start up with Tinker's Construct. So, I have my book here. Materials in you. And uh, I'm going to make the little workshop area for Tinker's Construct right along this wall over here. 
So for starters, we're going to need um, some blank patterns, which are two wood and sticks. I did do some gathering of wood off camera, as you can tell. Um, I believe I have sticks too, yes. So, and I put a crafting table down here. I, wa I was busy. So you know what, we'll get a couple blank patterns. There we go. Get those. Uh, get some more sticks. This should be fine for now. Yeah, five should be fine for now. If anything, we'll get some more. But what we're going to do, we have the blank patterns, and we're going to first make a stencil table. So that requires a blank pattern and a piece of wood, which I do not have at the moment. There we go. Okay, we're going to need that. And we'll use that. Stencil table our book upgraded. Um, let's see what else we're going to need here. We're going to need the part crafter, which is standard wood, and a table. Um, we need the pattern chest. Now one of these links up to the pattern chest and I don't remember which one it is. I think it's the stencil table? I really don't know. I'm gonna play around and um, figure it out. Uh, so, And the other one, I think there's pattern chest, part crafter. Did I make that? Yeah, that, it's called part builder though, right? Yeah, part builder, but in the book it's called part crafter. Okay. Just checking. Um, tool station. I'm going to need that. And then this is the tool forge. This, I think, comes later on. I don't think we need to worry about that. So I'm just going to create a tool station right now. That. And that. Tool station. Actually, hey, what was that? What was that that I just saw in there? Oh, a crafting station. Hmm. It also says part of Tinker's Construct. I don't know. I haven't... I, I really don't know. Alright, so. Let's place down our stuff. Now, I really don't remember which one... pulls off. So, I'm going to do this and that. It's not that one. It's not that one. Might be this one. I really, like I said, I'm, I've done, used Tinker's Construct in the past. Uh, all right, it's the uh, part builder. I've used Tinker's Construct in the past, but nowhere near as much as I could have. So let's get this together right here. So this is going to go here, like so. Part builder is the one that feeds off of it stencil table, tool station. Alright, so that takes care of that. Now we need to create the patterns first. Now to create a pattern is very simple. We just use the blank pattern and put it in there. So we're going to need some more blank patterns. Uh, that, that. And that takes care of that. Probably get some more. Uh, I really don't know how many patterns there are. I don't remember. So, just take 12. Alright, I hear an Enderman. I didn't get into my house. Okay, so, let's turn these into some stencils. We're going to have a tool rod. We're going to make one of each. This way, I just have them. Shovel. Matok, or the axe. Sword. Wide grip. Guard, crossbar, tool binding for a frying pan. Is there anything that's other ones that are essential right now? Uh, I think. I 
I think for now, for now I think we're good with these. Yeah, I think we're good for now. Because we're just going to do the basic stuff today. Let's get all this in there. So now this can pull from this. And... Okay, so that starts that. Now, Tinker's Construct is a wonderful add-on. I don't know if any of you are, who are not familiar with it. It basically allows you to customize your items and modify them and do all kinds of crazy things. This is just this is all just stuff that I'm going to have to eventually go through. These seared bricks I know are very important to um, Zinker's Construct because that's how you make the smeltery. Um, but Materials in You is the book that's going to get us started. So We have our pickaxe, we have your shovel, your hatchet, your mattock, which is like a shovel and axe combo. Um, your rapier, your longsword, your dagger, frying pan, there's just so much. So, so much. We're going to start off with something very basic. We're just going to do a very basic pickaxe. Um, so to do that, you need a pickaxe head, a tool rod, and a tool binding. Now, the way Tinker's Construct works is each material in Tinker's Construct has different types of uh, traits. So, for example, stone gives you handle modifier, full durability, mining speed, etc., etc. Iron will give you all that's listed over here. Then we move up to flint. Yes, you can use flint. Yes, you can use cactus. You can use some crazy things. You can use bone, obsidian, um, alumite. Now this is like top of the line right underneath cobalt. In order to get cobalt, you need alumite. And in order to get alumite, you need a smeltery, which I don't have. So we won't be using that right now. You have like crystals that you can put into it. It's it's a crazy mod that just... you. It's so much fun because you can create whatever your wildest dreams are. You can create a paper pickaxe, for example. Um, you know... Oh, there's Ardite, too. No, Cobalt still beats Ardite. I didn't even know there was Ardite, to be honest with you. Or Manilium. Oh, there's more that I didn't even know about. Pig Iron? That's funny. Now, these are the different types of modifiers you can add. You can add a diamond to your pick, which will give it 500 extra durability and will increase the mining level. Um... Emeralds give 50% more durability and increase it by 2. Redstone, this is the big one. It increases mining speed. Um, that's an amazing one. This one is pretty cool. Auto repair. Basically, it repairs your item while in the sun. Um, we're not going to be doing that because being that we're in thermal expansion, we actually have an added mod. Or an added mod. Uh, yeah, an added mod that you can add on to the uh, pick, which is... Where is it? Where are you? Electric and f Flux. So, Electric we don't have. That's, I think, IC2. Flux, though. This one. This is what we're going to put on our pick. Because what this is going to let us do is it's going to, instead of using durability, it's going to use electricity. And what we can do is we can charge up our energetic infuser, put our pick inside the energetic infuser to recharge it. This way our pick will never break. So we don't even essentially need the... Um, uh, what is it? We don't even essentially need the um, the auto repair because we're not going to be having a problem with that. We're going to be using electricity. And I do apologize. Last episode I said this is thermal expansion two. It's not. It's thermal expansion three. So I'm sorry about that. And then you can always add this to add in additional modifiers. So that's. I mean, I can go on and on and on about this. Like I, I know I spoke a lot about it more than I'd like to, but I want to give you a basic understanding of what we're going to be doing. So for starters, I'm going to create a very simple pick. I'm going to create um, an iron one, um, and I'm going to mod it up a little bit. So that's what we're going to be doing. Um, so let's go get some iron right here. And I got plenty of ores that I just haven't smelted yet. You know what? I'll uh, put them in while we're working this way. They'll... Uh, this thing eats up a lot of coal. I didn't realize how much coal it eats up. Anyway, so let's get started here. We have our iron. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to make a part builder. We're going to make a pickaxe. 
and we're going to make an iron pickaxe head, which is not correct. What am I doing wrong? Doing something wrong. Oh, this one. Is it this one? Yeah. Okay. So, we should put the... Is it this way? I thought it was this way. Why is it not working? Do I need to put the other thing too? No, I shouldn't. This is confusing me. Um, can I not use iron? Do I need something else maybe? You see, maybe Tinker's Construct changed and I might need stone, maybe? Is that what I'm going to need? Let's see. Yeah, okay. Looks like I need to use stone. I can't go straight into iron. Alright, well... That kind of ruins all my plans. I'm going to have to look up more into it as to why. I can't use iron. I don't know if it's because I need to use a casting thing or something like that. I really don't know. But uh, anyway. So I'll have to look into that. But for now I'll just show you the basics of how it works. So by doing a stone one, and also if anybody in the comments knows what I'm messing up, please let me know, because as far as I knew, and in my Hexit series, I simply threw a piece of iron in there, and that was the end of it. But that doesn't seem to be working right now. So anyway, we're making a stone one. Stone pickaxe. Mining level set to iron. It has three modifiers on it. Its durability is terrible, and its mining speed is terrible. But, you know what? We'll change it a little bit. So, we can modify it by putting our pickaxe in there and we can put in, like I said, we can put in a diamond. Yes, I'm wasting a diamond on a stone pick. Yes, I am. But this is just illustrating the fact. So now our mining speed is still very slow. It can mine up to obsidian. So to fix that, we throw in some redstone, which I'll turn these into these things. And then you put it right in here, and that does that, that does that. Okay. So, as you can see, it has 36 of 50. Once it gets to the 50, that counts as the full modifier. Um, if I go beyond that, it will add in another modifier, which I may actually go beyond it, um, just to do it. So let's see. All right. Oh, we gotta break these back down. Break these down. Now this can go in like this. This will make it forty-six, seven, forty-eight, nine, and fifty. So that's 50. So now this pick has a mining speed of 7.92, and it can mine up to obsidian. Now it has only one modifier left, and if we wanted to change that, we can by adding a gold block like this, which I will do because, as I said, I'm sure I, in the beginning of the episode you all saw saw that uh, you know, that giant ore cavern that I have. So ore is not really much of an issue for me. Um, gold and diamond allows you to put an extra modifier onto your pick. So, I'm messing up. There we go. Okay. Gold and diamond puts another modifier right on this. So that's it. Now we have two modifiers left on it. So now I'm going to put more redstone on this. Um, 
because we want to make it a fast pick. So, and we have plenty of redstone. So let's make it another uh, redstone block. And there we go. Eh, whatever we don't use, we'll just turn back into redstone. It's not a big deal. And I put that back in. 68, 77, 86, 95. So we got to break it down. 89. Oh, that was my mistake. Okay. 97, 98, 99, and 100. I went over. I messed up. <laughs> yeah, I messed up. No, wait, no, I didn't. Okay, I didn't mess up. I. It, it's giving me what it would have, what it would turn into, if I do that. But we're not. So right now we have a pick that can go up to the obsidian. We have it diamond, which means it has extra durability, and my its mining speed is 12, which is really fast. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a thermal expansion battery, and we're gonna put it on it. And yeah, I'm doing this all to a stone pick. You see what I mean? It's it's not really. Yeah, it's a basic pick, but it's it's going to do just what we need it to do. So this, I need four glass, four lead, and a block of redstone, which I actually have extra of. So we have the block of redstone. Um, the glass I do have upstairs. I have the four lead, and if I don't have the glass upstairs, I believe I have the sand to get it. Let's see. Uh, what am I talking about? All my storage is downstairs. Do I have the sand here in the blocks? Yes, I do. And I have glass. So actually, I only need one glass. And that is that. Oh, but pulverized gold. That's good. Still good. And we got glass now. Glass. Okay, so to make this, we're going to do that, which makes the energy cell frame. We're going to turn it into this. We need three copper and the one that uses electrum. Actually, I made some electrum. Here it is. So we got that. Two redstone. That makes the electrum. Like so. Got that. This is three copper, which we also have. One, two, three and we are good there we go we have our redstone energy cell well I'm sorry leadstone not redstone the redstone energy cell is a higher tier alright so let's put this back we don't need this um, where did this crafting table come from I don't remember was I supposed to make something with this Oh no, that was the extra crafting table that I made because I wanted to see what the uh, thing was. Okay. Anyway, now let's go back to our tool station here. Put this in there with the energy cell. And there we go. Flux. So, now our pickaxe has all of this added to it. It's insane. And now to charge up our pickaxe, we need to make an energetic infuser, which this is actually taking much longer than uh, I intended because the episode is almost over. So, yeah, it's not called the energetic infuser. Uh, what is it called now? It is called the energetic infuser. Okay, this we're going to need a machine frame. We're going to need another leadstone ingot and. So machine frame, we're going to need four more glass, which is fine. One, two, three, four. I'm going to make that. Four more glass, we're going to need the four more lead and the block of redstone. So lead, one, two, three, four, and the block of redstone, two, three, four, five, eight, nine. So that does that. And there we go. Okay. And the glass should be done by now. Okay. So that, 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 that. Uh, we're gonna need another. Is it a 
cell frame? Oh, it's just the cell frame. Okay, so that's fine then. It's not the actual cell. Uh, we're going to need two transmission coils, which is silver. So, silver is one, two, one, two, and one, two, three, four. I know I put the wrong I put the wrong re recipe in. Don't don't hate me. Uh, all right, that that one, two of those. Okay, and two copper, which we have one, two. Okay. And the machine frame now, which we need one gold, four iron. Yeah, you're, you're going to wind up, if you're playing this series, you're going to wind up memorizing most of these because they're so common. Um, it's just, it's bound to happen. I'm going to need four more glass. Okay. And yes, we are running a little short on time. It's about three or four minutes left. I don't want to keep it too far over 30 minutes. I honestly, I really intended to have this done much, much quicker, but I guess I underestimated exactly how long the whole process would take and the explaining and all of that. Because I mean, you know, but it's not a, you know, it, it is what it is. Uh, we're gonna need one more gold, and by the good news is, by the end of this episode, we'll have a nice Tinker's Construct set up. I mean, maybe in between next episode, I'm going to probably research it more and see why, what changed, because apparently stuff changed, because I'm I'm at a loss as to what uh, was wrong. Uh, maybe I do need to create the smeltery. I really, I really don't know at this point. Um, but, you know... You live and learn. Like I said, this is a new mod pack to me, so I'm not uh, too familiar with everything just yet. Um, you know, I'm not familiar with all the changes that occurred and stuff like that, so I learn. And I also read the comments, so they help teach me. So what we could do is we can actually hook this up right here. Boom. And no, we can't. Oh, that's because, all right, I know why. My mistake. It's because it's not it, the steam dynamo doesn't pump it out exactly. I need the I need to pump it in from the leadstone conduit. So we just simply need to take this away. And I fell into this. Okay. That takes care of that. You know what? I don't really, I don't really like that. Uh, well, that's what I'm gonna have to deal with for now. If anything, I'll change it when uh, next episode comes about. Oh, I'm out of, uh, I'm out of leadstone. Okay, so I don't really have a choice. I have to change it. All right. Well, I'll just do that then, real quick. Okay. There we go. And this right here like so yeah I got an extra wire now it's fine I'll fix it later and this should now work yes there we go so um, that's basically the setup of how we do that and what you do is let me get this out of the way here. oh actually the setup isn't too bad actually just get rid of these extras that's fine. Um, okay. Boom, boom. Alright. So that's our setup. So what you do is you take the... I know we're at the end. So, just show you real quick what you do. You take your pick. You stick it in there. It's going to charge it up. Uh, da, 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 da. And that's it for now. Uh, I'm don't want to use too much coal. So, now we test out our pick. Let's make it day first. Okay. So, now bear in mind, we made this pick out of stone. That's right, stone. And it uses electricity, has durability plus 500, and has haste. So, let's see what our pick made of stone can actually do, mining-wise. Okay. Alright, let's just hit this a little. I don't want to dig into my house, so that's the time's up message.
but I don't want to dig into my house, so let's just dig like over here. Look at that. Yeah, that's a bit faster than our lovely little diamond one. Yeah, so now, mind you, like I said, that's made of stone, okay? And it will never break because it will it has the red flux power. So we found our new pick, and you can actually, I think you can name your pick. At least you were able to do it in the uh, old Tinker's construct. So you know I'm going to probably name this pick something fantastic, like, you know, Stone Pick of Greatness or something like that. And well, I mean, I do apologize. Um, the episode ran a little longer than expected, and I didn't get to do as much as I would have liked to. Uh, but I hope, you, regardless, I hope you did enjoy it. Um, and next time, uh, we'll see what we'll do next time. Maybe we'll work on some more power, like making upgrading our power supply, or you know, there could be. Who knows what we can do next? You know, if if you guys want to see something specific, then just leave it in the comments, and I'll take a look at it. Um, you know, there's so much that you can't really, you know, you can't just say, oh, we're gonna do this, because there's just so much to do. Um, so until next time, I uh, hope you enjoyed the vid. If you do, please, uh, you know, like, comment. I do read the comments, and um, we'll see where the adventure takes us next time. So take it easy, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the episode, and see you next time.